Item number SCP-4730 Object Class Keter Site Responsible Site 70 Director Alphonse Croshaw Research Head Machizuki Nozomi Assigned Task New 7 Special Containment Procedures All containment areas at Site 70 are to be kept at least 300 meters away from any door requiring Level 4 or higher security clearance and have at least one 50cm thick steel wall obstructing direct line of sight between them. A MTF Nu-7 battery of at least 120 members are to remain stationed at Site-70 in complement to a standing armed guard force of 1,000. All members of Site-70 personnel are to be given access and required to read all Level 4 or lower information concerning SCP entities contained on site. Areas around affected doors are to be guarded with mounted weaponry and staffed as appropriate for the weapons and tactics currently used by SCP-4730-3. Longer periods of time between SCP-4730 activations warrant additional guards and firepower per the standard New 7 Captain's advisement. SCP-4730 is an anomaly that affects a randomly chosen Level 4 or higher security card at Site 70 every 2 to 40 days and activates upon use on a Level 4 door. Upon activation, a portal, designated SCP-4730-1, is open to an alternate universe, designated SCP-4730-2. The opposite side of the portal will be occupied by a waiting, heavily armed force designated SCP-4730-3. Autopsies of SCP-4730-3 entities show they are genetically and anatomically human. SCP-4730-3 entities will engage with stationed guards in armed combat with varying technology and tactics. SCP-4730-3 tactics are typically based around use of Goss weapons and combat drones, both aerial and terrestrial, but have utilized biological, chemical, anomalous and radiation-based weaponry on rare occasions. When SCP-4730-3 encounters a member of Site-70 research personnel with security clearance 4 or higher, SCP-4730-3 will attempt to apprehend and extract them through SCP-4730-1. When SCP-4730-3 encounters another SCP contained at Site-70, they will follow appropriate capture procedures for that entity and attempt to bring them to SCP-4730-2. Notice from Site-70 New 7 Battery Captain Peltry. I have received numerous complaints concerning the amount of required reading at Site-70. The list of entities contained here alone should justify our insistence. The next time one of those cards activate and a 4730-3 puts a 50 kilogram slug through enclosure, I want even the damn janitors to know how to contain it. If you need further reason to not die horribly, take a look at the below. Read the procedures. Signed Captain Stephen Peltery. Station New 7 Commander. Access outside Site 70 detected. Level 4 or higher clearance required. Incident 4730-A Video Log Transcript. Date November 22, 2020. Subject First Encounter with SCP-4730. Discoverer Researcher Machizuki Nozomi. Note. Emergency broadcast log started following researcher Machizuki's opening of a door requiring Level 4 security clearance as part of SCP-2995's containment procedures. Researcher, Mochizuki researcher Mochizuka was able to discreetly activate her emergency video recorder and transponder system upon contact with SCP-4730-3. Begin emergency broadcast log. Video opens to show researcher Mochizuka being escorted through SCP-4730-1 as 50 octopedal drones approximately 20 cm in height emerge from it. Ballistic reinforced plating covers the surfaces of the walls and ceiling as SCP-4730-3 entities run past Mochizuka and her escorts. Two high-caliber automatic Gauss rifle nests are visible before researcher Mochizuka is brought through a checkpoint 
staffed by other SCP-4730-3. Scribe data for cataloging. Universe 2A-53. The sound of gunfire on the other side of SCP-4730-1 is heard. Roger that. Proceed to interview cell 75T. Researcher Mochizuka is strapped to a medical cot on wheels and escorted through the checkpoint into a red-painted hallway. What is gonna happen to me? Quiet, native. SCP-4730-3 instance covered Researcher Mochizuka's mouth with their hand. Researcher Mochizuka is escorted through various corridors before being deposited in a stark white interrogation room marked 75T. Mochizuka is handcuffed to a metal chair in front of a metallic table and left alone for 2 minutes and 20 seconds before someone enters the room and sits across the table from Mochizuka. Person is of masculine appearance and designated as interviewer. Video feed is interrupted by occasional static. Hello. I'm sure you are very confused about what has happened to you. Let me assure you that your assigned facility will be cared for accordingly by far more capable containment specialists. Where am I? Interviewer smiles at researcher Mochizuka and extends a hand. Welcome to the Greater Foundation. We are here to alleviate your former employers of the anomalies that burdened them. Can you tell me about the anomalous items, entities, or concepts contained at your site? Why should I comply with you? It will limit the number of potential casualties from our efforts. And what if I refuse? Interviewer holds a finger to their ear before speaking again to the shirt. 2A-53 shows continued resistance. Static flashes across the feed and covers the sound of the interviewer's voice for two seconds. Submitting requests to label 2A-53 as Keter. Wait, is 2A-53 my home? I need some answers here. Tell me about the most dangerous anomalies contained by your organization. I need something in return for that information. While we do not care to upset more dangerous anomalies until initial containment, we are not beyond letting them do our work for us. We have recovered valuable information, anomalies, tech, and natural resources from universes that have undergone what I believe you call K-class scenarios in the past. We can do it again. I would prefer to work towards a more… mutual outcome. <sighs> 2995 and 3013. One moment. Interviewer puts her finger to their ear and speaks into their shirt. Query on 2A53-2995 and 2A53-3013. Ah, understood. Dispatch an MTF seismologist and an MTF Rembrandt to Universe 1F79 Site-22. Interviewer smiles at Mochizuka and rises from their chair. Thank you for your assistance. You will be placed in holding pending future questioning. SCP-4730-3 instances enter the room and secure researcher Mochizuka to a cot before wheeling her out. Video static increases as they move. Ten seconds of video become clear as Mochizuka passes a window. The exterior environment is clouded by thick clouds obstructing all sunlight and continuously raining. Flashes of lightning show rows of cross-shaped mining installations drilled into the planet's lifeless crust extending beyond the horizon. 42 seconds of static pass before the feed returns to show a mass humanoid containment cell. Catwalks line the ceiling occupied by SCP-4730-3 entities, and the cell is estimated to hold 200 occupants. The majority of cell occupants are in some kind of laboratory gear ranging from lab coats to full-body exosuits. A large window dominates the right side of the video feed where multiple humans are gathered in religious prostrations before a painting of a many-armed figure. Dump her. The natives here can orientate her. Mochizuka is released from bindings and forcibly stood upright. Researcher Mochizuka looks back as SCP-4730-3 entities exit through the door and the video feed cuts out as the door closes. End emergency broadcast log. Note, SCP-3013 and 2995 were lost during the incident. SCP-4730-3 units occupied over half of the Site-70 main containment facility before MTF Epsilon-11, Nine-Tailed Fox arrived one hour and forty-three minutes following start of the emergency log. MTF arrived by Halo Drop and entered the facility via the roof. 
Epsilon-11 forced the SCP-4730-3 troops back through SCP-4730-1 and launched a Type-4 Autonomous Stealth Surveillance Drone through the opening before the door in SCP-4730-1 closed. Interrogation 4730-A Video Log Transcript Date February 20, 2021 Subject Interrogation of captured SCP-4730-3 instance Interviewer Site-70 Director Dr. Alphonse Croshaw Begin Log Good evening. Can you provide us with a name? MTF Zeta 1A22 Door Knockers, Member 89VB55. Do you have a more personal name? Before joining, I was named Mikhail. Well, Mikhail, I'm betting you can guess why we are questioning you here today. It won't make a difference. Hmm? Whatever answers you get out of me, they won't help you. Nothing can. What makes you so certain of that? Your organization, your universe is hardly unique. It's just another speck of sand about to be poured into the kiln. You'll have to forgive me for not sharing your hopelessness. Whatever helps you sleep, enjoy the ignorance while you can. What is your organization's intent with our universe? Containment. You have nasty things. You can send those nasty things elsewhere. We don't like nasty things popping up in our realities. We've already logged at least one case, a particularly bad one breaching out of your universe, so we come here to take them all away, put them somewhere safe. Well, safe for us at least. Safe for you? They have to go somewhere, those somewheres are someone's home. Then there's the problem of resources. We don't offer our services for free because they are far from free to provide. What kind of resources do you require? The same all kinds of containment do. Raw materials, energy, people, you know. Starts off with just a few shipments of some rare earth metals, helium-3, D-class, that sort of stuff. Before you know it, we have mining platforms drilled into your plant's crust until we can sift out the valuables directly from your mantle. A mulhole device? Yeah, that's the word the scribes use. And do these universes put up resistance to your actions? Of course. They try everything. Armed guard forces, nuclear attacks. Some even send an anomaly or two through. Doesn't make a difference. In the end, their world gets reduced to endless rows of crosses and a planet filled with anomalies staffed by prisoners to feed them. A containment reality, we call them. Does your organization operate out of any one reality? A point of origin? SCP-4730-3 stares off into space for ten seconds before answering. I guess? There has to be one, right? Do you not come from your Foundation's home universe? No. Mine was a pretty typical containment reality. Grew up on the moon after my grandparents moved there when the Americans invaded Stalingrad back in the 40s. Or was it the 60s? We made contact with the Greater Foundation sometime in the late 90s, I think. I joined them to escape the homestead once the crosses started popping up in the craters. Do you remember if a designation was given to your home universe? 1T… 1T… 1T something. I used to visit there, didn't I? You said your universe was typical. Did something happen to it? Can… can we talk about something else? My memory of home has been… fuzzy and in a way I don't like. Of course. Have you encountered anyone you believe to be in an executive position in a greater foundation? SCP-4730-3 looks down in silence for another ten seconds. Not that I can recall. Only people I remember are D-Class, Scribes, and other MTF members. Site Commanders, Overseers, Ethics Committees, Administrators… Any of those ring a bell? Nope. None. Who do you receive orders from, then? We get them over the Foundation Relay System. List of Universes, Required MTFs, Expected anomalies to encounter, and where to take them. Have you gotten any sense of an overarching purpose behind these orders? Just extract, exploit, and expand. Take care of the nasties, make way for the crosses, and proceed to the next reality. Have you ever seen one of those crosses up close? No, the scribes say they are fully automated. Where do they come from? Are they manufactured on site? SCP-4730-3 appears distraught at the question. 
Their hands shake as they remain quiet for five seconds. They… they just are, you know? The crosses just appear on the horizon one morning and people start to leave the reality. That's about the same time we start moving the nasties in. Can you estimate how many realities have undergone such an exodus? I have no idea. I've lost count of the universe with crosses. I can't even tell you the last time I saw one without them, well, except the ones like yours. That will change soon enough, though. Let's move on. I thank you for your cooperation thus far. I must admit I was expecting to have to use more forceful means to collect this information. Nothing I can tell you can help you. Nothing anyone can tell you can help you. We are a god compared to a single reality like yours, a hungering, righteous deity. Our organization will run through years and nothing but crosses and storms will remain. No light, no hope, unless you join us. I am saving myself unnecessary pain by cooperating with you. You should consider the pain you can save your world by cooperating with us. Are there any anomalies that your organization takes a particular interest in? Yeah, deities. You know, gods, both big and little g. How does your organization contain gods? Oh, many different ways, mind games being a big one. I'm only trained in containing lesser spirits and gods though, village deities, idols, fetishes and the like. Are you familiar with how they contain more powerful deities? Nope. Only where they go for final containment. And where is that? Nowhere. What do you mean by nowhere? Well, a scribe would be better able to explain it. From what I remember from my training, we classify something a universe if it is at least broadly familiar to our own. It has to have mass, energy, time, space, information, things like that. When we find a place that doesn't, we just label it nowhere. And they just stay in there? I mean, a god has yet to ever pop back out from my memory. But what frequency do you encounter nowhere? Back when I was a recruit in, well, it was some time ago, we were lucky to find one or two instances a year. Last month we encountered twelve. So the frequency has been increasing? Has your organization noticed any correlation or trend to this? Look, friend, I'm just the person they shove a gun to and tell to go round up monsters. If I was the kind of person that would have that information, I wouldn't be the kind of person you could capture. Our scribes are kept really safe. Has your incursion into other universes increased by a similar rate during that same period of time? Do you believe the appearance of the crosses has anything to do with the increased counters with Nowhere? SCP-4730-3 glares at Dr. Croshaw in silence for a full thirty seconds. I don't like what you are implying, Native. My apologies, but if you could answer for the record it… Next. Question. Has your organization ever encountered something it cannot contain? SCP-4730-3 scoffs at the question. No, that's just silly. Elaborate. We've seen it all. Contained it all. If there was something out there strong enough to resist us, it would have destroyed us by now. No, just infinite universes filled with things we encountered before. And nowhere. Yeah. And nowhere. And log. Incident 4730-B Video Log Transcript Date: September 5, 2021 Subject: Report from surveillance drone sent into SCP-4730-2 near an incident 4730-A. Note: Report was received by radio signal following an SCP-4730 activation 10 months after initial contact. Server logs indicate that the signal came from SCP-4730-1. Video remains clear despite the theorized distance between the Type 4 autonomous stealth surveillance drone and the portal entrance. Begin log. Video opens to show researcher Mochizuka staring into the camera. Mochizuka is completely shaven and covered in signs of physical trauma. Injuries include multiple burn marks, both recent and healed, facial and limb disfigurement suggesting blunt force trauma, and several scars appearing to be made by laceration. <laughs> I knew it was one of ours! Hey, Chang, come take a look. I told you it was worth the broken finger. A figure dressed in a vest reminiscent of a lab coat with a Site 70 insignia on the front steps in the frame. Facial recognition confirms the individual to be Researcher Chang of Site 70. To date, Researcher Chang has yet to be captured by a SCP-4730-3 instance. 
I keep telling you, I don't think we are from the same place. Looks just like the ones the MTFs from my universe use, though. Is it still on? The lights are still blinking, and it was crawling right towards me before Eric's gang smashed it. Goddamn barbarians. You're gonna be alright, little buddy. You noticed my transponder, didn't you? We should take it away from the window. The Melidras tend to get a bit jumpy around Foundation tech. Assemble, dear flock! I've received a report of viscera from Satan's corpse intruding upon the Lord's home. Let us pray to he who travels the path of an ending Golgotha. Come on, Eric's rounding up his zealots. Mochizuka turns the camera towards the cell block's window. A male figure is given what appears to be a sermon through a makeshift megaphone in front of large paintings made on the glass. Painted figure of the multi-armed, multi-handed humanoid with a large disc-shaped head and surrounded by multiple runes painted to look as though they are aflame. The image sits cross-legged above the words, Satan is slain, creation is his, surrounded by makeshift scaffolding made from bed frames, clothing and plastic bowls and plates bound together by dried human feces. Men kneeling before the image engage in self-flagellation with improvised flogging implements. Women dressed as nuns with retailered lab coats collect to produce blood in plastic bowls and bring it up to the window. Lightning flashes to show a cross-shaped mining structure approximately one kilometer away. The structure's size makes it dominate the view from the window, and the mural is juxtaposed to appear as though it hangs from the center of the cross. Video feed pans back to Mochizuka's face. If this thing made its way here, then maybe, just maybe, the Foundation's on its way here to save us. <sighs> I told you, Mochi. The only chance your friends are going to make it here is the same way you and I did. You've just lost hope. Three years of sitting in this room and sleeping to the sounds of Eric screeching about bathing in the blood of infinite martyrs will do that to you. Besides, I think anything resembling hope left this world long ago, only its absence remains. I have to keep my hope, Chang. The only thing keeping me together. Mochizuka focuses on the surveillance drone's camera and takes a deep breath. Item SCP-4730, Object Class Keter, to make the greatest understatement in the multiverse. Special Containment Procedures? I have no clue. Nuke every level 4 security door? You would likely just switch to a different door type if you did. Description: SCP-4730 is whatever happened to open the portal to this hellscape. Entities in charge here claim to work for a greater foundation and they have seemingly endless natural and anomalous resources. Interviews conducted with the other humans here taken prisoner indicate that the Greater Foundation operates across thousands of universes. We do not speak the devil's language in the Lord's house, harlot. Have your freak god use one of its many arms to shove your dogma straight up your ass, Eric? Or better yet, how about it gets its lanky ass down here from on high and saves us? Oh, what's that? I'm not hearing any angelic choirs! Camera feed rises from the ground and pans around to show a crowd of 14 individuals clothed in bloodied hooded robes fashioned from lab coats approach. The group is 15 meters away when a flashbang grenade drops between them and explodes. Light and sound fills the video feed for a second and a half, followed by shouting from the catwalks above. Riding is punished by termination, natives. This is your only warning. The approaching group retreats back to the mural and starts chanting in an unknown language with their hands held to the sky. The figure identified as Eric uses the previously collected blood to touch up the painting on the window with a brush made of human hair. The congregation's hands move to repeat various patterns, and a surge of static comes over the feed until the camera is turned away from the group. I'm still trying to figure out what their ultimate objective is. But the handful of what I assume are their researches I've seen take a lot of interest in those symbols that Eric's cult makes. I tried to make some drawings of their motions, but my memory gets fuzzy when I do. I also know that they want to contain everything we do in our universe, and more. We'll go to quite the extent to extract the information they need. Mochizuka lowers her head to reveal a circular incision around the top of her scalp that looks to have been reattached with surgical suturing. Doing what we do across our one world is resource intensive. The requirements of taking on the tasks of multiple Earths is… well immeasurable. 
I've heard the guard refer to this place as a containment reality, so I don't think that they call this place home, and I know that they don't treat it like one. I don't know what we can do to stop them from turning our Earth into a place like this. They seem to be able to pop up through any door in our facilities that they want from what the researchers from the other universes have told me. We think it's a bit of a blind process for them, though. I don't know what you can use from that, but you have to stop them. This is the fate that awaits us if we don't. An Earth. Crucified. Feet is pointed back towards the window. Eric is lashed to and hoisted up on a metal cross atop the scaffolding in front of the painting. A tendon's hammer spikes through Eric's hand and feet as he performs symbols. Static in the feet increases as he performs more complex glyph-like patterns. The congregation chant a list of transgressions they claim to have committed as Eric's blood is collected. You're going to run out of its battery. I'll hide it away inside the latrine for now. Good thinking, Cheng. I'll have to set it up to passively scan for a signal from Site 70. It'll need some juice to broadcast the log. Fei turns back to Mochizuka. Whenever Site 70 ends up getting this, I hope it helps. That's all I have left in here, after all. End log. Log in to record security clearance and access location information. 05 credentials recognized. Playing final containment meeting log. Date. October 5, 2021 Subject Finalizing containment procedures for SCP-4730 Station New 7 Commander, Captain Stefan Peltry Site 70 Director, Dr. Alphonse Croshaw Voting Attendees 0501 0502 0504 0506 0507 0508 0510 0511 and 0512. Begin log. Welcome. I apologize for the odd hour I contact many of you at. You better damn be. I do not enjoy being woken up by a guard ordering me to my computer with no clue as to why. Is it Tuesday already? Very funny, Seven. Let's get on to business so I can vote on whatever clusterfuck we have before us and sleep. Please ensure your headset is connected and your attending guard cannot hear you. Hope you had Scramble on over there in Site-70, gentlemen. Working perfectly. <sighs> I guess I'm getting amnestic then. What's one more imageless nightmare? Let's get the show on the road. What's with the middle of the night emergency call, Croshaw? I'm forwarding to you our latest recovered footage concerning SCP-4730-2. I think you will find the imagery familiar if you've read the reports collected by Tal-5 back in 2017. Twenty seconds of silence pass. You shouldn't have access to that information, Croshaw. This won't be the first time unauthorized access has helped us. Don't try your luck. This video is going to determine the level of your demotion. With all acknowledgement of Director Croshaw's eccentricities, he has a point. Our containment plan works best, the fewest of us made privy to it. We cannot let 4730-2 adapt to these containment procedures. And what about you two? You're above classified clearance level 4. I relinquish my security clearance. You're going to have to elaborate. Both Director Krosha and myself have relinquished our security cards to armed teams that will open doors for us. In the event we are captured and brought through 4730-1, a surgically implemented explosive charge and my and Dr. Krosha's heads will detonate. Subsequent New 7 and Site 70 commanders are to be shown this video log and be implemented with the aforementioned explosive implant. Okay, we get it. They can't know about this. Spell it out and let's vote. How do you contain an organization that can appear in any of our facilities and has contained potentially countless numbers of our anomalies? An organization that has pillaged equally countless Earths to fund this endeavor? You make them think they are appearing right where they want to be, and give them all the reason for caution we can. Croshaw, I'm looking at this list of containment transfer requests. You can't be serious. We just transferred out 90% of Site-70's containment catalog, and you want to replace them with these? Implemented under each of those fully, appropriately staffed containment facilities is a miniaturized nuclear warhead. Under every level 4 or higher security door is an 80kg satchel of high explosives. 
And what do we do after a weasel goes pop? We rebuild the facility if we can, treat it really sacred. If it has completely passed recovery, put a guard in every other facility's security doors until we re-encounter, then wash, rinse, and repent. You're not actually asking us to transfer these entities, are you two? No, ma'am. You're asking us to sacrifice lives every day on containing empty space? That is correct. This won't hold them forever, Croshaw. Of course not. It just has to hold them long enough. You've seen my notes on the phenomenon they call nowhere, correct? We have. We also don't like to form containment procedures on hypotheses. We have in the past. With mixed results and to the most dire circumstances, yes. Overseers, if anything would qualify as dire, I would hope this would be it. I don't like the idea of holding a potentially indefinite defensive campaign either, but this is the only hope we have. We don't have the power to fight this kind of force's equals. We do, however, know forces that can. It is just a matter of time before they encounter one, if they haven't already. If even one leak occurs in this plan, there goes their caution and our time. Until then, I will do whatever it takes to prevent a cross from going up on our Earth. What actually is contained at Site-70? SCP-4730 Overseers SCP-4730 is contained at Site-70. End Log Displaying O5 Voting Record Yays, O501 O504, O506, O507, O510, O512, Nays, O502, O508, O511, 